Hi there, I'm Nick from ATP and today I've been sent a box for unboxing and review and can you guess who it's from and can you guess what's inside as if I haven't already told you in the title. Okay, so a quick caveat before we start. I was sent this for review for free so I haven't paid for it but just bear in mind that if you've seen my, many of my videos I don't accept things for review if I don't think that I'm going to like it or use it or I don't think my viewers would like it or use it. So I checked it out beforehand and said, yep, fine, please send it ahead because it's something I've been looking for for a while since getting my DJI FPV drone. So I'm keen to have a look, see if it's any good and then obviously see what you guys think as well. So without further ado, let's just open it up. Got my handy little pen knife here. So like I said, this was sent to me. I've got it two days ago. So I've been, when the DJI FPV drone first came out, there was no cases for it. There was nothing. So I've been using a, a really bad rucksack. Uh, I never felt comfortable. Uh, took too long to actually get up in the air because it was a, a kind of difficult case to use for this sort of work for, for FPV drones. So let's have a look. Okay. That's bigger than I thought it would be. It's pretty cool. Feels sturdy straight away. Right, I will say, from the photos I saw on Amazon, I thought this was going to be a soft case. Um, and it's not. It's solid. That's impressive straight away. So, yeah, I was thinking this could be good, but if it's a soft case, it's no different to my rucksack. And I was looking at the photos and I thought, okay, it's going to be one of those pliable ones. But it's not. It's actually really solid. So already that looks pretty cool. And the company there are, well, this is RL Soco. RL Soco, R L S O C O. So let's have a look. I'm a big fan of quality, so when I see something for the first time, it actually means a lot, and that is really good. See that on the uh, GoPro there? Okay, so that is a lovely colour. Good feel, good quality, feels like quality. Um, all you've got on the outside at the moment is a handle. There's two D-rings here, so I assume that's for a, using a, a, a normal strap for over the shoulder. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty cool. Good solid strap, good rubbery feel. I'm impressed so far. I will tell you the price. It's actually on Amazon at the moment, $89.99. I think it's probably the same in sterling, the way things are going at the moment. Okay, so let's have a look at that. First of all, that's cushioned inside. So if you have got anything there, that's cushioned. And you've got a zip at the top. Nothing in it. it smells new as well. Then you've got a, a flap inside, obviously, to protect things when they're inside. And you've got a how-to kind of, <laughs> just an instruction manual there for the case. So what it will hold is the FPV drone, the battery charger and USB cable, the controller, the DJI FPV motion controller, the goggles, the V2 battery, um, the, um, the FPV batteries, it'll hold three batteries, and obviously if you've got one in the drone as well, so it'll take four batteries in here. Um, and it looks pretty good. You've got the a middle divider, upper cover, and the bottom, I assume this comes out. There's the strap. So if you wanna use it over the shoulder and carry it that way, you can do. And I think this comes out. So you can see there, it actually feels good. It's better than the original DJI when I got the, F, uh, not the FPV, the Inspire. This is way, way better than that. Um, not sure what material it is, but that feels like cotton or something underneath. So it's not typical plastic. It's probably plastic inside, but it feels pretty good. You'll probably see that better on the GoPro. So you can see it there. Uh, first impressions before I get the drone and put it all in are it's pretty good. It's sturdy. It's not too heavy, but you can feel that it's pretty solid. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed so far. So let's go and get the drone, all of my equipment. I haven't got the, the motion controller, but I've got everything else, spare batteries and all that kind of stuff. So let's go and grab those and put them in and see what it's like. Right, so here we are. I've got the drone, the FPV drone. I've left the battery in to see if it will fit in here with the battery on. Two spare batteries, goggles, the battery, goggle, the battery for the goggles, the charger and the multi-charger. I've got my filter set, the controller and the four props. So I'm gonna put the four props on because it goes in here fully propped up. So you can literally turn up where you're going, open it up, take the drone out and it's ready to go. With my current setup, with the using a, a basic camera bag, 
I always have to have the props off. So that's going to be a big bonus. So let's just see if they fit in there. I'll try and open this without affecting anything around here. I've got the microphone there. Let me just do that. Oh. Ah, whatever. Right. So the drone. Let's put the drone in first. I've got to try and work out where it all goes. That goes there. <laughs> okay, that's pretty straightforward. I think I've got it the right way around. Okay, it does go in with the battery on. Let's take it off, see if it's any easier. Okay, so it sinks in a lot further with the battery off. So it may be a battery off bag. Let's just have a quick look, Let's put it back in. See if it closes with the battery in, because that'd be a, a big help. No, it doesn't. Ah, right, I've also got the GoPro thing on top. So it's not gonna work with, oh, it might do. No, it will work with that. Let's take the battery off. Uh, let's take the, uh, battery out again now because I've got that the GoPro attachment on it may be too well designed for just the drone so that may have to come off let's try that again without knocking the microphone too much that actually closes right okay let's have a look perfect okay that's good let's get that back open getting hot it's a hot day in the summer uh, end of summer today so if I start sweating you know why I got all the lights on as well so that does actually fit with the GoPro attachment on so your choice is either have to have the battery out of the drone with that GoPro attachment on or you can have the attachment off and leave the battery in but it won't do both it's just a little bit too much you probably could but I wouldn't want to force the drone down into the bag so I would recommend you either take that off or leave the battery out but that works okay at the moment so the batteries go in here one there, two there, there's another hole there. So you could, like I said, you can get one in the drone, three in the bag, uh, so that's pretty cool. I've got the other battery there, so they go in. Three batteries, the goggles obviously go here. I'm gonna unplug, in fact, let's leave it plugged in because I'm a lazy bugger. When it comes to getting turning up somewhere, I like it all pretty much ready to go. So that goes in there, let's have a look. Straps being a pain. Now I'm assuming that is for the strap there. Put the strap. Okay, that's the goggles in. I could probably leave that wired up. Battery goes in there, I assume. Looks kind of hole for a battery. Let's just unplug it. That goes there. That's there for the controller, I think, for the the hand controller. That controller goes in perfectly. Probably seeing that on the GoPro. So that goes in with the jogs uh, the handle uh, control still on so that fits in there nicely and then I assume that the uh, the hand controller goes there so let's just try and get the rest of this in so that goes in like that the cable can go down here for the goggles I'm going to put the props on Put it back in the box. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Come on, be nice. Beauty. Come on, in you go. Yep. Perfect. Perfect fit. There we go. So it does go in with the props on. That is brilliant. God, it's getting hot. Um, so yeah, that's cool. So the only things I haven't got in are the the multi charger for the batteries. But I may be able to slip that in somewhere like that. And this goes down there. It'll probably go in easier if I really worked out how to do it, but that is pretty cool. That was easy. Uh, I think the goggles are incorrect. Might have to take these off because they're sticking up a little bit. Let's try that. Nope, fits perfectly. That's got a bit of an indent inside up the top there, so that closes perfectly. I could probably just slot those down there. And there we go. Let's close it up. Wow, it all goes in. Brilliant. Like I said, it's solid, it feels good. It doesn't feel like I'm crushing the, the drone inside or anything. You can see that on the GoPro. Uh, really good, really solid case. It's not massively heavy, so that is gonna be way better than my rucksack I'm using at the moment. Um, yeah, fantastic. So obviously, like I said, you can use the straps, shoulder straps here as well. But overall, I think that's pretty cool. Let's open it up again, make sure I haven't broken anything. Uh, obviously you can put bits and pieces up here. There's some silica gel in there, but you can put any documents you've got up there, um, pens and things like that. Um, 
But yeah, perfect, perfect. So for me, that is so much better than what I'm using at the moment because I can, excuse me, like I said, we've just come into September and the, the temperatures come back in England. But yeah, so brilliant, everything's ready to go. So I can just take the controller out, got these on. I can take the drone out, it's already propped up, ready to go. Uh, I can take the, the uh, goggles out, they've already got the antenna on, they fit in well. That's it, perfect, absolutely brilliant. So let's put that back in there. So would I buy this if I wasn't sent it? <laughs> That's the big question. Yes, I would, 100%, because like I said, when I first got the FPV drone, I was one of the first to buy it from DSR and Sussex, and there was no cases. Because it was so new, there was no cases, there was nothing for me to carry it around in. So everyone was using the box or the, the, the top bit of the box to carry it around in. Obviously not very good for the drone. It's not super safe if you're driving somewhere. Um, so there wasn't any cases for ages. Even up to a couple of months ago, I couldn't find a decent case in the UK. So for me, this is really good. It fits perfectly. Um, if you had extra batteries, they wouldn't fit in here, but it fits four, one in the drone, three there, um, and everything else is ready to go, including the filters, cables, charging kit, everything. So I'm gonna give this a massive thumbs up because it's better than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be a soft shell, but it's actually a, a solid shell, uh, really well made, great zip. Everything's really good about it. I can't see anything at the moment that I don't like about it. So I'm gonna try it in the field, go out with it and use it for a bit. But overall, I think that is pretty cool. Okay, you can see it there. Everything goes in really well. Um, yeah, I think it's really good. Massive thumbs up. So if you're interested, you can go to Amazon and it's called the RLSOCO, RL Soco hard case for DJI FP com FPV combo. And like I said, it's $89. Or if you wanted it in English, I'm not sure how much it is in English at the moment, but it'll probably be around the same, maybe 60, 70, 80 pounds. And to protect a sort of 1200 and whatever pound drone, I think it's worth the money. So hope you enjoyed that. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And I'll put some links to Amazon down below. They will be affiliate links. So it does help keep the channel going. So yeah, brilliant. Thanks for watching and big thumbs up.